Welcome to EnvironmentSmith. Today I'll be providing a tutorial for the Source 2 engine. Need to texture from Source 1 in Source 2? Want to get those textures you used in a Source 1 map onto your ported map? Here's how you can do that. You will first need to recreate the folder structure that each one of those textures resided in, in the Materials folder of the mod you are working on. Specifically, the Mod and Materials folder in Content. After these folders have been set up, you will need to find the original texture you used in Source 1. If you made it yourself, find your original image, convert it to a .tga, and save that .tga in the same folders they were in in Source 1. As an example, I will be doing this process with a Half-Life 2 texture, specifically a metal texture. So as you can see, I have a metal folder, and this is the materials folder of the mod I am working on. Since I am doing a Half-Life 2 texture, I need two main programs, GCFscape and VTF Edit. If you don't have them, there will be links in the description. This section will assume that you already have them installed, working, and already have a basic understanding of them. Here I am in Half-Life 2's HL2 underscore textures underscore DIR file in GCFscape. Other source games will just have a single DIR pack file that will have the materials in them. I want a metal texture, so I am in the metal subfolder under materials. Click on the VTF of the texture to open VTF edit. Click file, then export, set it to .tga, either save it to the same named folder you found it in GCFscape, so metal in my case, or save it elsewhere and then move it there later. Now go into the material editor, hit new, save the .vmat, to the same place as your .tga with the same name. Select the folder under Color, switch to All Images in the bottom right, then select your .tga. Hit Open. You now have a basic material that will automatically populate your map once it's saved. With it in the .vmat format, it will now be editable in the Material Editor to however you want, including all the new shaders and other new features. Do note, any ported textures will only be usable in that mod you ported it to. Everything I have talked about applies to all Source 1 textures from all Source 1 games. Hopefully this helps, and happy editing!